deal is brewing in the BPO space. Bloomberg TV India learns that Apollo Hospital's BPO arm, Apollo Health Street, is on the block and is likely to be bought by US-based BPO Sutherland. Shelja has more details on the story. Yes, Vivek, this is another sign of consolidation in the BPO industry. Bloomberg TV learns that uh, New York's BPO firm Sutherland is close to acquiring Apollo Health Street, which is a BPO business owned by India's Apollo Hospitals. Now, sources in Apollo Health Street tell us that Apollo Hospitals as an entity holds 40% stake in the BPO arm that it will exit, and the Redis, uh, the promoters, hold around 14% in their personal capacity. So, Sutherland is looking at a total of 54% promoter holding in Apollo Health Street. Sources also tell us that Sutherland will be acquiring the BPO firm for nearly $250 million uh, that will give the New York based company increased presence in uh, India and the US uh, as Apollo had made some acquisitions in the past uh, to enter the US market. Now this deal was delayed a bit over differences of valuation. Uh, just to give you an idea on Sutherland, the 26 year old company's uh, 2011 turnover was $534 million. Uh, dollars. It has over 30,000 employees uh, across 34 centers globally. Uh, Apollo Healthcare, uh, Apollo Health Street, on the other hand, is a 13-year-old firm uh, focused solely on the healthcare industry. It employs around 3,000 odd people and runs 12 centers in India uh, and the U.S. Its uh, 2011 revenues are estimated uh, to be around one-fifth of uh, Sutherland's. Uh, now, importantly, Temasek Holdings and uh, One Equity Partner are the other significant holders in Apollo Health street after the promoters, but it is not clear what their plans are going to be. As Temasek said, it will not comment. Uh, Sutherland and Apollo Health Street have also not offered any comments, uh, but the deal is anticipated to be announced anytime soon in all probability in a week's time. Back to you. All right, uh, on to our next big story. Over 50% of the new listings on the Bombay Stock Exchange in the last year have been on the SME exchange, and as many as 10 out of 11 listings on the SME exchange have weathered a fairly volatile market to stay above their issue price. Shell is here with those details. Shell, tell us, how are these SMEs performing? That's right. Uh, we, again, 21 IPOs have hit uh, the Bombay Stock Exchange uh, this year, of which, as you said, 11 have been on the BSC SME Exchange. Uh, take a look at the performance of how these stocks have done. 10 of these 11 have actually given positive returns uh, since listing. Uh, also, when you're looking at uh, the overall picture, uh, these are stocks which have a very low, uh, low uh, market capitalization as compared to the peers. But uh, take a look at the, uh, what kind of performances few of these uh, top stocks have given. Uh, take a look at Comfort Competence is one of those stocks which has given a 64% kind of a return in a matter of three months also Jupiter Infomedia Max Alert Systems uh, is the one stock which has to be mentioned because this is the one stock uh, which has come up with an IPO this year on the SME exchange and has outperformed all its larger peers as well with a return of as much as 210%. And also Monarch Health giving a return of well over 115%. So uh, uh, data is clearly showing that the smaller stocks on the BSE SME exchange have clearly outperformed the larger peers.